and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Zed. Going to be our next deck. Uh, we're going to be playing an aggressive deck here with both Sivir and Zed in attacking. Um, backed up by a few elusives, we're going to have Green Glade Duo being a nice powerful elusive and Shadow Assassin also being elusive -y. But then we'll also have um, some top end heavy hitters, of course our Sand Spinners in here, but of course Sivir with the Spell Shield, Ruin Runner with the Spell Shield, and then Windfair Hatchling also an elusive. So um, different elusives, Spell Shields, stuff like that. Also a good amount of card draw in here for an aggro deck. We're going to have three Shadow Assassins that are going to be drawing cards. We're going to have two Preservariums drawing cards, and then also three Ruinous Paths. So if we do slay some units, then we can uh, drain to draw a card. So it gives us a little bit of reach and card draw also. Uh, the Preservariums are going to be a landmark. That's going to be important. Same with the Rockhopper making these Roiling Sands for the landmarks because we're going to have uh, three Shape Stones as our combat trick in here. So we need that plus three, plus one. So getting the landmark cards are going to be important for that. Um, and that's kind of about it. A couple of Spirits Refuge to help racing with the Lifesteal, some protection with Deny, and there we go. All right, so let's give this a try. Sivir Zed. This looks like a very interesting list. Our next donation deck of the day. First one went really well, Garen LeBlanc. So close to that 5-0. Should have been if I didn't make a mistake. We'll see if we can duplicate that here. What's up, Tali Zoo? Happy to have you back, Tali Zoo. Togric like this deck? Nice. Yeah, this is a good deck. This looks this looks pretty interesting. Alright, so we got some some puff caps over there. Uh, we'll keep Rockhopper Shapestone. Do I even keep Shapestone? Maybe not. I'm not sure about that uh, Shapestone. Recently, when playing against this deck, they always have turn one Teemo. Which is too bad. I'll start with the duo. I don't, like, if they play a unit on turn two, uh, I guess Ballistic Bot would have been good for Roiling Sands. I was, I don't, yeah, I guess Ballistic Bot would have been good. Sand Spinner will be pretty good against Teemo. Of course, we also have, like, the blocker for Teemo with the duo. See, that's the card I was worried about for turn two, of, like, wasting my uh, vulnerable. I wanted to get the vulnerable out for, for the peddler. I'm not sure if I can take that three damage or not. We found all of our top end. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. Guess. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. So ordinary.
That's surprising. I figured with Troll Chant you'd want to save your Puffcat Peddler. Like, save Peddler, not Teemo. Like, what does Teemo do? Teemo doesn't even do anything. Don't love seeing the ice sharks. Maybe they have another one. Oh. Just buff these up, make them a little bit more difficult to kill. not over. Our opponent can definitely win this game. When how? They're playing PNZ. They can just have, like, you know, some Mystic Shots and get excited, and I draw Puff Caps. This game is not over. Yeah, Sejuani here would have been rough, but, you know, the quicksand draw would have taken away the Overwhelm. I don't really want to play Shadow Assassin, because I don't really want to draw another card. I don't actually really want to play Shadow Assassin or Preservarium. Because of, because of these foundries, don't want to draw cards. Icefield Archer is the card that punishes me for playing other things before attacking. So, do they have enough frostbite? They basically just need two brittle steels. I guess they need a little bit more than that. This is the eight overwhelm.
That's a lot of puff caps we have now. Alright, so how can we slay units? I slay a unit. I know that doesn't slay. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm still asking. Like, how do we, how do we slay? I'm getting cards out of my hand because we're going to be drawing so many. That's all I've been doing is just getting cards out of my hand. That's why we saved our quicksand. But still, this should frostbite all my stuff. I gotta slay a unit somehow. Sejuani's gonna kind of take over. The good news is they can't... Warm hearts and hot oh. um. Can't frostbite again. Alright, so... They block with the 3-3, three, three. they take 3, they take 4, so they go down to 2, and then I ruin his path. I could play another Shadow Assassin? This pay by the then we draw another card. But then, let's see. So if I play Shadow Assassin, we need Shadow Assassin, Ruinous Path, so then I only have mana for Nopify. If I don't, we have mana for Nopify and Deny. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the card to attack with. There we go. Oh, I guess I could have done the quick attack. But whatever. Alright, we got a Slay. There we go. Didn't have the third kindly tavern keeper to heal their nexus. The real treasure is friendship. Nah, it's the gold. Telling y'all, don't don't count that deck out when they have that foundry going and all those cards. It's hard to kill them. Don't don't count that out that deck out. That's their deck is designed to survive. More Sejuani, Renekton Sejuani. This will be a race. I could definitely use that one quicksand to stop Overwhelm. Honestly, Rockhopper's not bad here. It's really not. Um, do I want the third one? Like, maybe. I don't know. We can double spell with them. Now, Rockhopper doesn't match up against Omenhawk. Claw strikes. 
does match up against Ruthless Raider, but unfortunately, this just trades with the Omen Hawk. Question is, do I cast Ruinous Path right now, or do I save Spell Mana? I think I... Yeah, we cast it. Hopping on rocks. Without a sound. So I think they, they probably have, like, Troll Chant if it's made of sand, and stuff like that. Fight or die. The winter's claw. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Okay, so we they should definitely have the five five. Stop following me. Oh, no troll chant. Neither of those have vulnerable right now. They probably don't have very many spells for me to deny. No, probably don't have very many spells for me to deny. They're at 10. The order rewards its faithful. Observe. The Spirit's point. Refuge was just one card down. That would have been good to have on the, the Zed. Alright, so I can just do this and then have two denies. But, you know, they could just have. They can have Quicksand or a Frostbite card or a Troll Chant. I could play the Hatchling. If I play the Hatchling, they get a blocker. So one Troll Chant doesn't save them now. Before, like, if I would have opened attack, Troll Chant would have saved them. Okay. We got there. Those two, we ended up at three. Those two Ruinous Paths healing our Nexus for four was kind of important. Kind of important.
Hey, Scorpy. Doing great. So far, so good. We're starting off hot on this donation deck day. We climbing. Yeah, Skilled Snapper is cool. That's a fun name to say, Skilled Snapper. It's better in a LeBlanc deck. I don't know if you want to play Ionia LeBlanc, but if you do Skilled Snapper, that is probably where you want to... That's probably where Skilled Snapper can see play. Uh, we're not, we don't really need Nopify, do we? Probably not. Looks like Vile Feast is about it. Alright, so it's bad to see dredge dredgers, but if you see dredge dredgers, you want them to toss these cards, right? Like all three of those cards are great to have. So, like those are that's good for us to see. Like those cards are the ones being tossed. Piece was a perfect card to really shut down that rock hopper. Like both aspects of the rock hopper. This worked out perfectly for my opponent. The best thing about this game so far is they've tossed the cards that we want them to toss. It has been the best thing so far. See what we see. So Heroes go hungry. These aisles will be cleansed. But besides that, they've had a great hand. I cannot be broken. Don't think I'm winning this one. Doesn't look like it. Like 
28. So this play's not good against another Devourer, I understand. But with this being at 28, I was thinking that, you know, Shadow Assassin would make 30, the Sivir makes 35, and, like, I could start with those two attacking and then and give quick attack to everything else afterwards and, you know, be able to play, like, these other things. Like, you know, we only have a certain amount of, a number of turns, really, to, to take over for this game. And, uh, yeah, we were in a, a, a tough spot, so that's why I wanted to continue to develop and be able to have a lot more attackers. Devourer was the card that really, that really hurt. So I understand they get one sapling for a blocker, but still, if they if they don't have Devourer, they play anything else. That's the other thing I can challenge with the Sivir also. Um... So it's, it's really, it was just Devour was like the, the main problem, but unfortunately they did have that. Because the, yes, they would get, but they would only get one sapling, right? And I was planning on going very wide. And so yeah, they would get one sapling to block, but I was also planning on going wide and giving all my stuff quick attack. I don't think the sapling gets vulnerable. I think the other thing gets vulnerable. But I could be wrong. Oh. Oh. Okay, I was wrong. So the sapling did get the vulnerable. Never mind. I thought the other thing would get the vulnerable. I'm going to keep the very cheap cards against Draven Jinx because it is going to be quite a race. Do I want to play green glade duo next turn or not i could see playing I could see just keeping the two spell mana and playing zed with the two spell mana all right we have a backup zed so if they mystic shot this Zed, i do have a backup so we're gonna we're gonna go with the duo okay ready Yeah, that was that was the card right there. That was nice. Okay. I salute you. The hype's as big as his biceps. It's Vancine. One's not a lot. I can, I can make it two. Not really a difference between one and two. I could, of course, you know, make it a lot more. I guess we have to make it a lot more. I guess we have to do this. Yeah, I guess. I guess this is just the play. 
that's six. I can make it seven by going here. Oh, but I'm not going to have the mana. I'm not going to have the mana for Ruin Runner plus buff spell, am I? Cut the breath from them. Oh. Hmm. If only I had... If I had one more mana. Yeah, I could have kept one that can't block alive. I was worried about I was worried about going too low of like going down to five and just having a get excited and mystic shot killing me. But I guess if they have get excited mystic shot, I'm I'm just dead anyway from just them killing my stuff. I was, yeah. So I I should have, um, yeah. We would have taken, uh, you know, additional well, one point of damage. Yes, yeah, so we would have gone down to five. I would have killed the crowd favorite. It turned out the crowd favorite didn't need to block though anyway, so it didn't really. Uh, I guess it didn't really matter, right? Because the crowd favor didn't need to block, so it didn't matter. What do you What do you expect the Zed's champion spell to do? So we'd still lose, yeah. So we were, we were still gonna die even if I, even if I would have made that block there because they wouldn't they didn't need that other blocker. I don't think that I don't think the Zed's champion spell does anything, right? Like, am I missing something about that Zed's champion spell? I don't think it did anything, right? Thanks, Maddie. Because it's still, it's still just like if I champion spell, it still just dies to the the get excited. It doesn't change it. I mean, we we put them down to where they needed the, they needed to have the get excited, and unfortunately, they did. These games are these games are so nerve-wracking. They're so close. We have the smallest of margin like, you know, we don't have any margin for error <laughs> basically. These are so such razor thin games with this deck. Yeah, we've we've played a couple of Black Rose Spy decks recently. Um I don't know. I, I'll I, wait. Wait till after this game, okay? I'll, I we have I have a couple black rose spy decks. So just I'm, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> if you wait till after the game, I'll help you out. Um. Uh, 
So I'm going to just keep everything. Oh, really? People don't play Mystic Shot in that deck? I'll be honest, I didn't I didn't realize that the Mystic Shot were that low in that deck. I thought that, you know, it's Mystic Shot. I just thought those decks always had Mystic Shot. I didn't realize that most everybody plays zero. But even though I played around Mystic Shot, I don't know what I could have done differently. Besides just not blocking it, like... I mean, no, because if I make less blocks, then the Get Excited would have killed me that they had. Even if I made if I made the other block and killed their Overwhelm, we still died to them going wide there that next turn. Didn't we? Because they would have had that other 3-2. You know, they would have had the 3-2 the still alive. Without a sound. No, I think we still died the next turn, even if we blocked Crowd Favorite. Because they still would have had the 3-2, and then the 2-2, and then the, the House Spider. But I'm not sure. Let's get not deny me. All right, so we both have four cards in hand. No one's the wiser. I was gonna say, but we have a Zed in play, but they you don't have the two mana. Okay, duo, duo. You won't get past me. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey, I'll do better this time. By my side. Speaking of good cards. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. I hope they don't have Noxion Fervor. Your path ends here. Routes closed. Moving into sight. Wow, they had Noxion Fervor. And they blew it. They didn't want Noxion Fervor or a Green Glade duo. Alright, there we go. Three and two. <laughs> aggro got <an> aggro. <laughs> you have another positive record. We'll take it. <sighs> All right, so we ended up. Hmm. Let's try that again. All right, so we ended up with a three and two here with Siver Zed. Another positive record, right? Like that's that's all we want. Um, and it it looked good. We played some Razor thin games very close games we did lose to the deep deck that deep deck had such an ideal deep hand they really did you know with the um 
you know, like they had just all like a bunch of early toss stuff. They had a vile feast. They had the jaw hunters. They had the Maokai run on time and then double devour, um, you know, turn six, turn seven, devour, devour. It was really just completely ideal deep hand. So we lost that, you know, no shame in, in losing that one. We uh, did lose that other one to the Draven Jinx that was really, really close. Um, that, that was a tough game, right? That was a really tough one to navigate. I tried, I played around Mystic Shop more than what I guess I should have. I guess I didn't realize how little Draven Jinx players play Mystic Shot. Um, they did top deck that get excited though to save them, right? Like that was the, that was the card they drew for turn was that get excited. The only card that um, kept that Zed from killing them. But uh, yeah, that was still very, very close game. But yeah, this was a, a fun deck to play. You know, getting aggressive with Zed, having Zed, Zed and Sivir, both these quick attack attackers that were really good. Um, I have to say I was impressed with it, though. You know, like, it did look very powerful and, you know, it did look impressive. And you have, like, that card draw with Preservarium, Ruinous Path, and Shadow Assassin that uh, keeps you going towards the late game and the Windfair Hatchling to help finish it out. Pretty cool little deck. All right, so that's Sivir Zed, second deck of the day. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know what you think of Sivir Zed. Um, the, all the new cards, you know, let me know what you think of all of those or, you know, anything else. Always love seeing those comments. Always read them and they warm me up. So leave those comments and I appreciate that. All right, but anyway, thank you so much as always for watching some Sivir Zed and I will see you for the next video.